The new Paramount Plus documentary shines a spotlight on a man named Grant Amato who, in 2019, shot and killed his mother, father, and brother. His crime was shocking, more so because his family were not people who meant him any harm. In fact, they were apparently the close-knit unit, which makes Grant's act of murder even harder to fathom. So, why would Grant Amato kill his family? Let's take a closer look at the case. Who is Grant Amato? Grant Amato was born on May 20, 1989, in Chuota, Florida, to Chad and Margaret Amato. He was raised in Coloto with his elder brother Cody, and after graduating high school, the two of them studied to become nurse anesthetists. Cody graduated from his course, but Grant wasn't able to complete it. However, he was still able to find work at a healthcare facility where he was employed as a nurse. In 2018, Grant was suspended from his job for improper medicine administration. Hospital staff found empty vials of a sedative known as propofol in two rooms he had been overseeing. He told police he administered them to patients who were not adequately relaxed. It was alleged that Grant had been stealing the drugs from his workplace, though he was never charged. However, he was fired from his job, an event that sent him into a tailspin. After losing his job, Grant became something of a recluse at his family home. He was unable to find a job, so with plenty of time on his hands, he visited pornographic websites. One of these was a site called My Free Cams, which is where he met a Bulgarian cam model named Sylvia Venceslavova, who went by the alias Sylvie on the website. It was Grant's obsession with Sylvie that led to his terrible crime. Why did Grant Amato kill his family? Grant had to pay money for Sylvie's virtual company, and as he didn't have a job that paid him a salary, he used his parents' credit cards to fund his addiction. Within a few months, he had spent around $200,000 of his family's money. Grant's family sent him to a rehabilitation facility for porn and internet addiction, costing them $15,000. When he returned home, his parents prohibited him from having any contact with Sylvie. However, Grant was somehow able to convince his mother to let him use the phone to call her. When his father heard about this, Grant was told to pack his bags and leave.